What is up everybody? Josh here again and today we have a 8 update. They've added electric fences. They've added lights to golf carts. And the hokey pokey trap. And several more things. Let's get into it, shall we? Hey everyone, for this patch they added electric fences, improved the golf car, adding lights and the ability to drive without the four players in the cart. A newfound footage tape added a returning enemy to the end game and a large trap and lots more. They've also done a pass on optimization and brought down memory usage, which should help cases of the game crashing. And they finally made some changes to the enemy balance. Now killing lots of enemies will lower the amount of rage you see. And they want to know how the changes feel in the comments. As always, please continue to post your bug reports and feedback in the discussions area of the community hub. So we're going to go over the features here and try to show you every single one of these in game. And we're going to go over the balances and improvements as well and try to show you the more prominent ones of those so they added a new found footage video to the game we're not going to show you that for spoilers they also added the hokey pokey trap and this is what the hokey pokey trap looks like you hold e to reset it when you're close to the giant spiky ball be very very careful not to hit that as you will take lots of damage when you do so uh, so whenever something walks in front of this it will set it off and then you can reset it and all you have to do is hit B and bring up your traps menu, the little pink one down here. And we're going to head towards the end here and we see the Hokey Pokey Trap. Requires some rocks, sticks, logs, and rope to make. And then you could just place it like this. Next up we have the electric fence and this is basically a solar panel connected with the wire. You can also do some freeform electric wire placement now. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to bring up your wire and then once you're on a device or section that has wire like this right here, you'll see a little round circle appear and that means you can freeform and place wire so you can go and attach it to a fence or whatever you need to do. We've attached this one right here to a fence. And now you can see there's electric wire here. So, so we've wired it all the way up from that solar panel through this fence right here. And of course we can free place on this as well. Anywhere you want to, you can like place a wire like that if you wanted to, or however you want. You just gotta left click, have a power going to it, then left click and you can see the circles you could do the free placement. So we've wired it all the way over. We're going to go ahead and wire it from the edge of here to the fence. And then hook up up to electricity like so. And then we could wire those too if we wanted to. And then you have the electric fence. And that's kind of how you make the electric fence. And of course, if you walk into it, you will take damage like so, but also enemies will as well. And friends. Now you can pick up radios and have them. You just left click it while it's in your inventory or in your hands to change it. Right click to turn it off. And once you bring up your inventory, you'll see it in the top left of the screen here. You'll see radio. Left click to equip it. But it looks like you can't place it down, or at least I haven't figured it out yet. So, so the golf cart now has lights whenever you get into it. And after a few seconds, you get out of it, they will go off. And you can also seat four people on it. So you can have somebody in the passenger seat now and two people on the rear. So just hold E and you'll get on the back and then somebody can drive away. Then somebody can drive away. Oh, and look, I'm still in Mandarin. It looks like they haven't fixed that glitch. Also, when you go to new game and choose custom, 
At the very bottom underneath survival, you could choose reduced ammo and containers now. And single use containers. There's all kinds of options you can do now, which is pretty cool. But the they did have the option where you could have a harder mode for like ammo and whatnot. So and they added a returning creepy, which is looks like the demon boss, pretty much. And that's after you kill the last boss. And now you can print GPS markers on the printer. All you gotta do is go through and hit R and you'll get to GPS case. And just hit E. And now you got a GPS marker. So once you have the 3D printed GPS case, you need to add the case from the orange case here, a circuit board, wire, and battery. And this will make you a GPS locator. And there we go. Got us a GPS locator. So you print the case and then make the locator in your inventory. So they added some new vocalizations in some of the bunkers. This is the food and dining. And Kelvin and Virginia will now swim if they're in deep enough water, even though we can't get them to go into deep enough water, but that's okay. Okay. Under balance, there will now be less frequent enemy raids, depending on how many regulars or creepies you have killed. And that amount will increase over the days unless you kill more enemies. So that means basically, if you kill lots of enemies, then you'll have kind of a, a grace period or a little bit of a break. It'll be less frequent as far as the raids go, but it will increase over the time if you don't kill more enemies. So keep killing enemies, pretty much. And defensive walls now can take four times as much damage. And they reduce the health on special glowing puffies. We're going to go ahead and skim over the improvements real quick. You can now take animal heads and equip them and shake them with left click, like so. Moose can now kick you. And you can't order Kelvin to get trees if there are none. He will decline. You can now electrocute poor turtles. They did tons of LOD improvements and optimizations, and now they have an increased delay before the boss cutscene. There's also a countdown timer on the back of the gold room. That's what it looks like when they get electrocuted. <laughs> he does. Come on. Looks like they did some dedicated server improvements as well. And we're gonna skim over the fixes. I uh, don't believe I see anything too awful important, so. In the audio, they say that they added the sound effects when placing electric wires and solar panels, and I'll add on to that. Also, when you get really, really close to an electric wire, you hear a little buzzing sound too, a humming sound. Looks like they also tuned the audio for the rifle and flare. And that's really it for the audio section. And that's it for this update video, guys. Thank you so much to the late night crew, KHX, Wolfie, Sergio, Sandy, Silver, and John. And thank you guys so much for being part of late night crew and for supporting the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to, um, Always take her fish. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.